It's finally here. Samsung's next generation flagship chipset is official and it's impressive. We're gonna go over the key specs and features. So if you wanna get more tech related videos, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. The Exynos 2100 is the first flagship chipset from Samsung based on 5 nanometer EUV process. It uses advanced 5 nanometer technology for improved performance and efficient power consumption. Just using 5 nanometers alone has improved the performance by 10% and reduced the power consumption by 20% compared to last gen's process. The Exynos 2100 is an octa-core CPU with a tri-cluster architecture. So it has one prime core, the Cortex-X1, running at 2.9 GHz. Below that, there's three high-performance Cortex-A78 cores and four power efficiency cores. The overall architecture gives the Exynos 2100 a performance boost of more than 30% over last year's Exynos 990. On the GPU side, it adopts the new Mali G78 with 14 cores, and this gives 40% better graphics performance compared to the Exynos 990. The graphics performance was one of the downsides of previous Exynos chipsets, so a 40% increase is a pretty big jump and should be on par with Qualcomm's offering. Another downside of previous Exynos chipsets was overheating and power consumption. Samsung has already taken care of the overheating issues by dropping its custom M cores in favor of the ARM Cortex X1. And for power consumption, they developed a new technology, Amigo, which stands for Advanced Multi IP Governor. And how it works is, it helps the battery keep up during intense graphic operations, like 3D gaming or 4K and 8K video recording. So the Exynos 2100 isn't gonna be a battery hog like its predecessors. There's also a significant improvement in its neural processing unit, with a more powerful and more power efficient AI engine. It also has an advanced image signal processor that can support cameras up to 200 megapixels. It can also support six individual cameras and can work with four cameras simultaneously. And with its new multi-frame processing, it's gonna shoot better high quality video it can record 4K at 120fps and 8K at 60 frames per second. Anyway, that's all for me in this video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.